The Game of Thrones Season 6 trailer is finally out, and combined with a bunch of promo stills and hints from the books, we can predict a lot of the big events of the upcoming season. So let's have a look. The trailer starts at the wall, with the body of Jon Snow, who is stabbed to death by his fellow Night's Watchmen at the end of the last season and book. It looks like there's a conflict over Jon's corpse. Davos uses Jon's sword to fight some Night's Watchmen, and we see some Watchmen trying to break through a locked door. We also see the Red Witch Melisandre lurking around and talking to Davos. It looks like the Watchmen are trying to stop Mel doing something to Jon's body. Probably some magic that will lead to Jon's resurrection. There are heaps of hints for Jon's return in the books and in the show, and it's believed that Jon's direwolf ghost might be involved, so it's telling that we see the wolf by Jon's side in the trailer. Later, we see a battle known as Bastard Bowl beginning between the Boltons on one side and the other Northmen with the wildlings down from the wall on another. Tormund is there, Ramsay is probably there, and we even see someone who looks suspiciously like Jon. Also near Winterfell, we see Sansa and Theon fleeing from the Boltons, and it looks like they get caught by a Bolton man with dogs, but then Brienne appears, kills the man, and presumably saves them. Sansa later looks like she's in a safe situation, maybe with Brienne or the Northmen, though Littlefinger looks like he's lurking up there too, so she might end up with him. Point is, Sansa, Theon, Brienne, and Littlefinger may also get caught up in this massive conflict in the North. There'll certainly be deaths, maybe Tormund, hopefully Ramsay, though it looks like he's got at least 20 good men there, so he's probably unstoppable. Anyway, in Bravos, we see that Arya is still blind, and she spends some time begging as Blind Beth. She's still at the House of Black and White, though she seems to have a falling out with her magical assassin friends, the Faceless Men. One of them, the Waif, hits her, and we later see Arya leaping off a rooftop, maybe running away from the Waif. This might indicate that Arya leaves the Faceless Men, maybe returning to Westeros, where she has some unfinished business. Further east, the city of Marine is left in the hands of a dwarf, an ex-slave, and two eunuchs, which sounds like the start of some terrible joke. There's a shot of an explosion at the Great Pyramid, which maybe could be caused by the Sons of the Harpy, who continue to resist Danny's rule. We also see Tyrion in some dark underground location, which could be the Pyramid Basement, where two of Danny's dragons are locked up. Maybe this is how the dragons get released. While Tyrion and co try to keep things under control in Marine, Dario and Jorah head off to look for Danny, who was last seen flying out of the city on the back of Drogon. One of Jorah's fingernails has visibly gone black, which indicates the spread of the nasty disease Jorah caught from the Stone Men in Valyria. It'll be interesting to see if anyone finds out about his condition, which is both deadly and contagious. Anyway, it looks like Danny is captured by Dothraki, and we see her being taken to what looks like Vae's Dothrak, a sort of a sacred city to the Dothraki. So things might look bad for Danny, but she's got a Drogon ex machina coming her way, so she'll probably be okay. By the time Jorah and Dario find her, she'll likely have made a bloody barbecue of her Dothraki captors. Back in Westeros, we see a new player arrive at the Iron Islands. A ship sails in on a stormy sea, bringing in the infamous pirate Euron Greyjoy, who for some reason doesn't have an eye patch, despite being, you know, the crow's eye, the quintessential badass pirate king. But anyway, we see Euron standing on a bridge in a storm, which is probably where he kills his brother Balon, which leads to the King's Moot, an election of sorts where the Iron Man choose their new king. This could be a really cool scene, with Aaron Dampere, Asher or Yara Greyjoy, and the Crow's Eye all duking it out, though sadly there's apparently no Victarion. In King's Landing, Jamie has an awkward sort of a Honey I'm Home moment, bringing the body of Marcella back to Cersei. In the books, Jamie and Cersei are pretty well broken up at this point, but here they catch up on some incest, and Jamie promises to help win back her power. Their enemies are the Faith, the High Sparrow and his followers, who seem determined to bring down the Lannisters. Overthrow an empire. The Faith seems to still have Marjorie imprisoned, and it looks like the Tyrells try to get her back. The wild card in this conflict is Robert Strong, the reanimated Gregor Clegane made by Kyburn to serve Cersei. As an eight foot tall monstrous zombie mountain, we could be pretty certain that Bobby Strong will wreck shit up this season. I choose violence. But if rumours prove true, the silent giant might be stopped by his brother the Hound, returned from the grave. At the end of the trailer, we see Bran standing in the snow, turning around and seeing the Night King, the apparent leader of the White Walkers. This isn't actually happening for realsies, it's a sort of a vision. Remember, Bran is hanging out with this creepy old tree man called the Three-Eyed Crow, aka Brynden Rivers, aka Blood Raven, who's recently been recast and who's teaching him to use the magic of the Old Gods, which involves seeing through the eyes of weirwood trees all across long distances and even back in time. Bran uses this magic to have visions of the present and the past, and so this thing with the White Walkers looks like it's one of those. 
What's really exciting though are these shots of what looks to be the fight at the Tower of Joy, an event that book readers have been obsessing over for literally 20 years, ever since the first book came out. This is something that happened towards the end of Robert's Rebellion, an epic fight with a young Eddard Stark and six of his men against three famous Kingsguard knights, including the legendary Arthur Dane. But more important than the fight itself is its aftermath, where Eddard makes a promise to his dying sister Lyanna, which is believed to relate to the birth of Jon Snow. This scene could lead to the reveal of one of the biggest, oldest secrets in Game of Thrones, the true parentage of Jon Snow. So that's the trailer. You got the resurrection of Jon Snow, Bastard Bowl, Are You Going Rogue, and Conflict in Marine. You got your Dothraki barbecue, your Kingsmoot, possibly Clegane Bowl, and finally, after all these years, the Tower of Joy. The season looks like it's going to be awesome, so make sure to subscribe to Alt Shift X for more explanations and analysis throughout the series. We've already got videos out on Arya's character arc, Danny's future path, Grayscale, Euron Greyjoy, Robert Strong, The Return of the Hound, R plus L equals J, Jon's Resurrection, and much more. So check those out if you're keen, and expect many more videos throughout Season 6 and beyond. Thank you for watching, and many thanks to all the patrons supporting this channel, including Anissa Raponti, Benny Vasquez, Lamal Ronzo, Madison Ritland, Amy McDermott, Julio Storch, Leslie Ann Davis, Nahir, Valter Van Stralen, JV, Justin Woolhandler, Sondre Benjamin Arson, Seth Topps, Two Penny, Blue Margaritas, Sina Thrith, Einstein Snow, Henry Cooper, and Dick Johnson. Thanks again, and see you next time.